Tell us about Macmillan at Glasgow Libraries and the work that you do. For COVID, we had 14 drop-in support and information services across Glasgow, providing emotional, practical and financial support to anyone who is affected by cancer. Um, to do this, we worked with volunteers who hosted the regular drop-in in their local library. Um, going through cancer can be a really lonely and isolating experience at any time, and the pandemic has made life even more difficult for many people who are affected by cancer. So um, when the pandemic hit, we, and the libraries closed down, we moved our support to over the phone for people who are living with or beyond a cancer diagnosis, their family, friends and carers, people who are bereaved through cancer, and also people who are just worried and maybe have some questions. Um, so we were offering that over the phone, and then we um, created a new volunteering role. So the volunteers who were providing that in-person support are now providing support over the phone. Um, this support can be on a one-off or a more regular basis, just depending on the person's preference. Um, and it's first and foremost that emotional support, someone to talk to about how you're feeling and what you're going through. But then what we can also do is refer into our partner services for further support. So if someone needs help with money or benefits, um, help at home or further emotional support. So things like counselling with Cancer Support Scotland, you know, we can help set up all of these things. Um, to help people um, with whatever it is that they need. Um, and we can also provide free expert and easy to understand information that's about cancer, and that can help people to make more informed decisions around their health, which is really important. We um, were delighted to recently um, relaunch our drop-in support and information services that are in person. So now we're in six Glasgow libraries across the city. Um, these are could be either a drop-in or an appointment, just depending on the person's preference. Um, and again, it's for anyone who is affected by cancer at all. So we were delighted to also reintroduce our volunteers to that in-person support. So volunteers are now back, um, ready and willing to you know, be there for people who need it. We are following the Scottish Government guidelines, so things like social distancing and face covering, and sanitizers all in place to keep everyone safe. And as this um, drop-in and in-person support is going on, we're still providing that telephone support so that people can get the support just in the way that they feel the most comfortable with. Um, and we also accept referrals. So if anyone, you could be a healthcare professional, you can work for the Alliance, um, you work in the community. If you refer someone into us, we just need their name and their number and you can get in touch by phone, by email or online. Why were you drawn to join the Alliance Membership Network? Being an Alliance member has been great because not only can you learn and share at all the different events and opportunities, but you can also make some really great connections. So, for example, we have a really good working relationship with the community links workers who um, refer in to us, give us a call and ask us some questions, and we do the same back to them so that we're able to make sure that people get the right support at the right time. Contact Macmillan at Glasgow Libraries on 0141 287 2903 or visit glasgolife.org.uk forward slash Macmillan.